Welcome back Leo. This is Renee and this is your reading. This is going to be the next 48 hours. What you can expect, what's going on, what's happening for you in the next 48 hours. And we're going to take a look at the cards. We have the, the near past, the present, and the near future. So this is the next 48 hours for you, right? We're going to go ahead and take a look at the cards and see what comes out. And let's get started. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates, make sure that you hit that like, share, and subscribe, right? If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay, Leo, we have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? I feel like there's someone who's um, kind of expecting you to make a move right they're expecting you to make the first move and i feel like it's something that you're thinking about so i feel like you feel the same way about this person this person is is the queen of cups for you right or you're in this energy you're very attracted to this person you're thinking a lot about them um i feel like you kind of when you're around this person you know i i feel like you kind of go within Kind of like when you come in their presence and look into their eyes, you like drift, right? It's that feeling of just falling so deep, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting from you, okay? And I feel like you're really caught in your emotions. I feel like the person who's thinking about you is doing the same thing. I feel like they're very attracted to you, right? But I feel like one of you is protecting your energy. So I feel like there's someone who needs to make the first move. And I feel like this person is waiting for you to make this first move, Leo. And I, I feel like, you know, every time you're around this person, I feel an excitement, a happiness. You know, you feel very fulfilled. Uh, this could be someone that you work with, someone that you're around in your social setting, or uh, basically someone that you know. But I feel like you're familiar with this person. You know who this person is, right? Okay, for your present energy, right now, your what's in the middle is the Five of Swords. So there's some kind of conflict. There's something going on. You could be conflicted with your feelings, conflicted with your thoughts. You know, I feel like you're all up in your head, Leo. But um, I feel like there's some kind of conflict. Maybe you work two different schedules or maybe one leaves before the other or some situation like that. But there's some kind of conflict that's keeping you apart, that's keeping you from sharing with this person how you really feel, right? But I feel like... You're chopping wood, you know, you're thinking about this. It's not leaving your mind. You know, you're deep in thought about the situation. The number 42 may be very significant for you, um, but I feel like you're all up in your head, Leo. There's a lot of things that you're thinking about. There's a lot of things that are on your mind. And I feel like this person is just one of them right? But there's something that you're waiting for. Maybe that's the reason why you're conflicted. Because there's something that you're waiting for. There's something that you want to happen that you've been waiting to happen, right? And I feel like you're going to get victory in this situation. There is going to be some kind of stable offer coming ahead. There will be some kind of gift, some kind of offer, good news, that you're going to find very um, thought-provoking, right? Those are the words that I'm getting, thought-provoking. So I feel like whatever this good news is, it like has you a little off balance. You're not really expecting it. But this is happy news, right? So beautiful. Whatever this news that's coming, we're going to go ahead and clarify Okay, could have something to do with your career. We have career transition, Archangel Shamel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. 
So you can be changing jobs at the mo moment or you could be going into a career that's totally different from what you've done in the past. Okay, but I feel like this is some kind of promotion. This is some kind of increase because you are planting seeds, right? You're planting seeds and you're watching things grow. You're seeing things come into fruition, right? And I feel like you are really patiently waiting for things to happen. We're going from the seven to the six of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something that really wants to be shared with you. I feel like with planting these seeds, you want to plant the right direction, right? Um, I don't know why I'm getting that those specific words. But I feel like there's something that you're very particular about. How you're going about planting these seeds. Okay, because you want the best outcome, the best possible outcome. So you're really paying attention at how you're doing things at how you're going about, you know, where you're going next, whatever. If this is a career, if this is a move, if this is a relationship, you know, uh, place it where it resonates. But I feel like you're being very particular. You're taking your time to watch things grow, to watch things flourish, right? You're waiting on something to bloom, to blossom, okay? You're waiting for some kind of progress to be made, okay? And I feel like with this hangman energy, you're really thinking about the possibilities. You are deep in thought about where this situation is going to take you, you know, I feel like it's taking you totally out of your comfort zone to someplace that you've never been before. Okay, I feel like if this is a person, this is the one, right? If this is a job, this is something that you're very excited about. You really see things from a different perspective, viewing yourself in this position, but I feel like what you're doing is really thinking about where you will be in the long run. Okay, that's what's coming to me. Now, at the bottom, your challenge may be this King of Wands energy. So there may be someone who's kind of blocking your progress, someone who maybe is a go getter who wants you to go in another direction. Someone is making you lose focus because of their position maybe maybe they're higher above you maybe they're very appealing very attractive but i feel like this person is a go-getter they demand respect right and um i feel like that the challenge is getting this person on your side okay letting them see you in a different light letting them notice you okay because i feel like this king of wands can recognize who you are. They can recognize the progress that you're making, the good job that you're doing, you know. But I feel like, you know, there's something that you need to do. I feel like you're trying to impress this King of Wands energy. But look at this. The King of Wands, he's faced ahead. But don't get it wrong. This King of Wands notices you, right? He notices what you're doing. He's watching, okay? So I, I feel like that is your challenge. It also may be very important for you to watch your spending at the moment or kind of protect the um, information that you have. Not really tell everybody your business. I feel like it's very important that you keep things to yourself until you go about what you need to do, right? But I also feel like for some of you, I feel like Whatever this is, whatever is making you recognized, whatever is making you um, very appealing at the moment, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of success and longevity, right? This is long-term stability. This is longevity and um, an increase for you, right? So I feel like if you're an influencer, 
you're going to get a lot more viewers you're going to get a lot more prospects there may be sponsors on the way right um, but I feel like th these are things that you need to keep secret while you're going on this journey okay we also have the need to maybe balance your situation there may be a lot of things that, that you're juggling but actually I'm also seeing this as increase because I feel like you're juggling many opportunities that are going to be very successful okay so I feel like look at this this dog is bringing you a gift while you're juggling your priorities okay so I feel like there's something coming in as far as your finances that's very unexpected right you could be winning something you could be uh, inheriting something you could be gifted something right um, but I feel like there's some kind of financial increase coming in that you're not aware of okay you weren't expecting maybe you're getting a raise and you weren't expecting the raise for for months right um, but I feel like that increase is coming okay let's go ahead and clarify these cards for Leo let's get some clarity spirit give me a message for Leo for this hermit card we have the page of swords you know someone's watching you they're they're very curious they're wondering how you are right for the queen of wands we have the emperor so this could be Aries energy um, but I feel like this emperor this emperor is really taking a look at this queen and is like, wow, right? Okay, for the sun, we have the queen of pentacles. So look at this. We have two queens and this emperor. So there may be more than one person involved. But I feel like, see, we have the world at the bottom. So, Leo, I feel like someone wants to offer you the world. Someone wants to offer you some kind of new beginning. Okay, I feel like whatever cycle that you're going through, you've learned these lessons and you're carrying these lessons with you. But it's becoming a strength. You know, your lessons that you've learned are never a weakness. Never never a weakness the thing that you the things that you've learned through your journey through your lifetime um are your strength right and i feel like the emperor sees you as a counterpart they see you as just as strong just as ready to go get something as they are okay i feel like this uh, Emperor, he's very assertive, he's very bold and daring, um, but he's also very wise. And this Emperor could teach you a few things. Um, and I feel like what you're looking for and what you'll find is very stable, very giving, okay, and nurturing. Look how she's nurturing that pinnacle. You know, she's not only holding it, but she's like caressing that pinnacle, like she's watching it grow. Okay, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're watching your harvest as it grows. Okay, and like I said, I feel like there's there's a lot of pinnacles here for you right now. And I feel like you're going to be very successful. There is someone who's watching you. There's someone who's very curious, who wants to know more about you. While you're sitting there, you know, deep in thought, learning about something, um, you know, gaining wisdom, this person is in awe of you. They're like very curious. What makes Leo tick, right? What, you know, why are they so fascinated with this? What, what is keeping their attention on this, right? I feel like they're very curious. I feel like people are talking about you, but in a good way, okay? For the Three of Wands, let's see what Leo is waiting for. What is Leo waiting for? Happiness. Wow. Abundance. You know? Um, I, f I feel like that's what you're waiting for. You have the Ten of Cups and the Sun. So something is bringing you a lot of stability and happiness. You know, there is abundance here for you. 
right Leo? What is making Leo conflicted? What is this conflict and chaos? Wow, we have the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. You're waiting for some kind of truth to come out. You're waiting for someone to come and speak to you. You know, you're waiting for this honest communication, right? I feel like that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for this person, maybe, to come and talk to you. But I feel like what you're waiting for is some kind of communication. There's something that you want to know. There's something that you need to know that you're waiting for. What is this page of Pentacles spirit? The Six of Swords. So whatever the situation is, whatever good news or um, gift is coming through for you, it's moving you to a better position. It's moving you to a better situation. There's improvement, right? You're moving into calmness, into calmer waters here. With the, um, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords. So definitely moving into calmer waters. You could actually be moving due to this situation. Okay. But I feel like where you're moving to is going to be more calm, more peaceful. And there, there will be improvements. Okay. It, you're, you're leaving one situation and going into a better situation. Right. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. The will of fortune. Change. Whatever seeds that you're planting today are going to bring a great change for you tomorrow. It's going to bring you good fortune. Good blessings. Right? Look at this. We have the page of swords, the ten of cups, and the will of fortune. So some kind of knowledge that you're receiving, something that you're learning is bringing you happiness and good fortune. Okay? So whatever you're gaining wisdom on right now is going to bring you a lot of prosperity, okay? And with the Six of Pentacles, give me a message for the Six of Pentacles, please. The Five of Wands. So with the Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like this is a blessing, but I feel like there may be competition in something that you're doing. Like I, I was sensing, if this is love, I feel like there's more than one queen here trying to go after this emperor. But I feel like you have a better chance, Leo. And you could be male or female. It doesn't matter. But, you know, this emperor has his eyes on this queen of cups. You know, this queen of pentacles here, she's just hoping and wanting that stability of that emperor. You know, but I feel like this emperor has eyes on the queen of cups. Okay. And um, that may be this competition that's coming through. Okay. Tell me more about this hangman. Give me a message for this hangman. The eight of cups. Yeah, you're looking about, you're, you're thinking about walking away from something. There's something that you have your full focus on. So a lot of these other things really don't matter to you in the moment. You're, you're focused on that one cup and you have your priorities set. And that's what you're focused on. You're ready to walk away from everything else. Because you've looked at things from different perspectives. And you are just focusing on this one cup. So you're ready to let everything else go. Right? So whatever this intention is, I feel like it's very important to you. It's something that really strikes your interest. And it's something that you really want. Right? It's something that you've been waiting for. We have the three of cups, excuse me, the three of wands twice. So it's definitely something that you've been waiting for. Give me a message for Leo and love. What messages do we have for Leo in their love life? Cupid's arrow, falling in love, having faith, love is coming. There's some kind of surprise invitation, right? Or a surprise meeting. But someone is head over heels for you, right, Leo? 
we also have endings and new beginnings so where one thing ends another thing is is now beginning there's growth here there's change there may also be liberation so you may be leaving one situation to enter another and you're making that transition right this could be a relationship a job or or whatever you know it's going to be different for everyone but I feel like there's something that's ending because of something that you, you have your eyes set on. Something that you're very intended on pursuing. We also have the healing heart. So, Leo, you could be healing from some kind of heartbreak. Uh, you could be free from some kind of toxic energy. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, whether this is a relationship or some kind of addiction, I feel like... You feel free, you know. This could be a job that was going nowhere. That you really felt like you wasn't able to um, move up any further. Like you've hit that, that ceiling. But, I mean, I feel like it could have been even a job that you love, but there, it was going nowhere. So I feel like there's something that's making you heartbroken here. Um, but I feel like there's freedom. I feel like you are free from something, right? So let's get an angel number for Leo. What does Leo need to know right now? What does Leo need to know? 777 alignment, right? Okay, Leo, your progress is recognized. Alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized. Okay? Your affirmation. I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply align as I feel the feeling of the divine. Okay? So spirit wants to know that you have their protection. You know, you have their guidance. You just may have to look within to find that, you know, seek that out because you do have that guidance. You have that perspective, right? So if it's something that you need to let go of, Spirit is going to let you know what that is that's important to you is worth the focus of letting these other things go because it's going to bring you success right have faith okay so that is your reading leo so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe um if it doesn't resonate make sure to take a look at your other placements they may be resonating with you more at this time and until your next reading my beautiful leo many blessings to you love and light